guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl, Jackie. Check it, 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 check it. Check it. Pew, 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 pew. So today I'm trying a viral Twitter hack, a makeup hack. And basically the hack is where you take a pair of lashes. It could be any pair of lashes that aren't wispy. And then you turn, you rebirth them into a wispy style lash. I'm gonna show you exactly what the hack looks like. I love a wispy lash, okay? I also love a straight demi lash. Now, I don't know what in the Illuminati is going on for you to even think of doing something like that, but today I'm gonna try it. And I'm doing this video in partnership with Kiss. The lashes that I'm gonna be using are from the Kiss Blowout Lash Collection. All of these lashes come in a wispy style, but I almost kind of feel like we could wisp it up a little bit more. We can finesse it just a teensy bit more. I'm a first time user of these lashes, but they do look super bouncy, super full, very voluminous. And today we're gonna be putting them to the test and trying out this viral hack at the same time. For those of you guys that are looking for a more inexpensive lash alternative, because there's really not, in my opinion, <laughs> There's really not a lot of reliable, inexpensive lashes. I'm gonna show you what the lashes look like first on their own with this makeup look, and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I I trick them out. And let's just see what let's just see what we prefer. And by the way, this makeup look is courtesy of my full face of Bobby Brown. And in case you're wondering, you can get this mug in one of my previous videos. I will link it in the description box. Just remind me in the comments because I'll be forgetting to do stuff like that. I'm sorry. Before we do get started, I want to see you become a part of the Jackie Anna family. 60% of viewers watch my videos and they don't even subscribe. <laughs> no, honestly, no hard feelings, bro. But I mean, if you're gonna keep coming back and utilizing the knowledge that I spit and you obviously enjoy the content if you're coming back. Let's be real. So you might as well join the Jack Adam family. We welcome newcomers. We welcome all of the seasoned veterans, the pioneers that have been here from the Lil Pumpkin Pile five days. Whatever you, wherever you come from, we don't judge. We just wanna see you come back. So make sure you subscribe and click the bell for notifications so you see when I do new uploads because YouTube be trying to hate on a player. Okay, YouTube be blocking my blessing. Here's what a couple of the styles look like. This one is Beehive. Bzz, for all y'all going to Coachella to watch Beyonce perform, you might as well pick up a couple of these. Beehive in the building, blah, blah, blah. This lash is in the style Page Boy. These two, between Beehive and Page Two, these are right in my alley. I particularly love how these are like thick and then space, thick space. I love those types of lashes. I feel like when you already have a fuller lash, it just enhances what's already there. And then this one is called Bouffon. Now Bouffon, Bouffant, Bouffant is really, <laughs> Bouffant is really not my kind of style, but I just wanted to showcase for those of you guys that like a more thicker, short lash. And then this one's in the style updo. This one is a lot like Beehive, except it's a shorter lash. And then also the strip is smaller. So if you have smaller eyes that maybe aren't very wide, aren't very like elongated, then you may prefer updo. So I feel like Beehive is definitely more me. I'm gonna go right in and just demo the lash on its own. Then I will show you the viral hack and see if there's a difference. Now these lashes do come with a clear band, but one thing that I like to do is I like to actually take my liquid liner and just draw right over it. I like to see the band. I don't mind a little bandage, you know, a little band situation. Don't neglect the band. I just feel like that makes my lash line look thicker and more full. I'm gonna take their strip lash adhesive. I like the fact that this says it's latex free because sometimes the lash glue that I usually use be making my, my eyelash itch just a little bit and I just kind of roll. I just kind of ignore it, you know, cause I'm just, I'm just like, I don't really know what else to do, bam, you know? So when I can, I do try to use latex free or whatever, cause it's probably just the smarter decision to make. Ooh, it's black, nice, okay. Okay, kiss. So I'm painting that lash glue onto that band. Ooh, I'm making it. Thick, sis. This is the blackest lash adhesive I've ever come across. Usually, the other ones are like, the darkest I've ever seen from any other brand is like a dark gray, but this almost looks like a black liner. Like, this is a really, really, really black. Black, 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 black lash glue. Okay, so you're supposed to let this adhesive dry for 30 seconds and it's supposed to become slightly clear. When it's slightly clear, that means it's ready. It's ready to marinate. I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara while that marinates. 
Just a little bit. Okay, now's our chance, now's our chance. I think the lash is ready. It feels tacky. It literally got stuck to my nail. We got, we gotta move. I'm trying to hurry, I'm trying to hurry. Gotta hurry, 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 hurry. The shorter end always goes on the inside and the longer ends go on the outside. So that's how you know which lash goes on which eye. The lash glue did, definitely didn't dry clear. It's still black, but it's like tacky to touch. Like you want it to like stick. So we're gonna apply the inner corner in first. The inner corner goes on first. Ooh, that's a, wow, that glue is bomb. That thing ain't going nowhere. I haven't put the rest of the lash on yet. Okay, 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 okay. Let's stay focused. Stay focused here. Okay. This lash though. Hold on, kiss. Nah, y'all are, all right, kiss. This looks really good. I sometimes struggle with clear lash bands because like I mentioned earlier, they're a little too flexible, but this is a really good lash. It's not super flimsy. It doesn't touch my eyelids because if, if a lash is too flimsy or the lash band is too flimsy, it'll be up here. It won't be sitting like this. It'll just be in, in the back of my head, baby. But this on its own looks really good. I almost don't even want to change it. And I'm very happy with the lash glue. Lash glue was really, really good. It is a little watery and I did spill it. Like there's a big glob on my table now because I didn't realize it was as watery as it was. So be careful with that, you know, because of the fact that you take it out and then you're all exposed to the open. Just just be careful. It's definitely not as thick than what you're probably used to. To remove, you just peel off one end and then just gently peel off. Okay, let's get to the hack now. I'm so excited to try this. Wait, let me just pull it for a second and see. Oh, it's sturdy. It's st Do you see what I'm doing? I'm pulling. Girl, it's not going nowhere. She's sturdy. She moved in and she ain't being evicted, okay? Okay, so she did rub this lash for a long period, a lot of the time. And I kind of feel like it is improving the lash, but it was so wispy on its own that I don't even really feel like it needs it. But I'm gonna keep going. Now I'm starting to see. It's definitely separating a little bit more. I'm still brushing. Okay, so in the video, I also see a lot of brushing and then pulling, brushing and then pulling, brushing and then pulling, brushing and then pulling. Then she back combs it. Fluffs it, pull, fluff, pull, a boom, boom, cat, a boom, boom, cat. Okay, so that did a little, that did something. That definitely did something. Here's what the, oh, okay, now I see the difference. Side by side, it's snitching on the lash right now. So we got the top lash looking a lot more thicker, a lot more fuller, and the bottom lash, they both are wispy styles. That's undeniable, but the top one just looks a lot more fuller, thicker, more demure. So let's try them on. All right, all right, all right. Let's put on this lash and compare and contrast. Even though I feel like I already know the answer to the test question. I think I already see where this is going. Okay, I'm gonna put it on now. Oh, I freaking love this glue. Oh my God, once you stick it, it just doesn't budge. You don't have to do it to him, kiss. This lash is definitely fluffier. I can see it. I don't know if you guys can see what I see, but this lash is definitely way slightly. Yeah, I see it. I definitely see it. Although I think that we should have, for this particular demo, I think we should have stuck with Buffon because now that I remember just refreshing my memory looking at the video, her lash was more of like a really thick, uh, I don't know what this particular style is called, but this type of lash where it's like almost like so thick that it's black, it's, it's like a thick black strip. We probably would have had more success if we had done a lash style like that, but I do think that this, this particular hack is useful for most of your lashes. If you just feel like it just needs a little bit more refinement and fine tuning, definitely I would recommend trying this technique out. Here is what the lash looks like. I mean, both lashes, I do have to say are pretty flawless. So what do you guys think? I'm happy with it either way. Okay, so this hack might've been a little bit of a fail, but I still feel like I learned something and I still feel like I picked up a tip that I would use on like other lashes, maybe on lashes that are a little bit on the cheaper side that need sprucing up. I don't feel like these lashes were a, the type of lash that needed to be 
doctored up or fixed. I did really like this particular style on its own, but maybe if you have a cheaper lash, a little bit of a Santee Alley special, you know, girl, you know those lashes, the ones that are a little bit sketchy. I feel like you can even use this in a more pricier lash. So that was the viral Twitter hack on how to spruce up your lashes tested. Maybe we'll try this style on another lash in the future. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today. And shout out to you again, Kiss, for sponsoring this video. Links to everything that we are using and wearing and rocking in this tutorial will be in the description box below. Actually, I'll just link this look so that you can get the info on that video over there. Or I'll even just link it here, you know, since you're already, you already made it to the end. You might as well, you might as well watch the next video. It's easy, it's right here. I've already done the work for you, girl. I got you, I got you.